ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's get... Oh, wait. That's... Someone else stole that line. Hey, Mac is back. I tried something. Eh, didn't work. Gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, today we're going to talk about tips again. Tips and tricks. So, from the last video, uh, we talked a lot of different things. Very random. I like random. It's fantastic. Let's do some more random today. What do you think? All right, here we go. First thing I'm going to go, I have a little list. Go from that list and see if uh, everybody has had knows these little tips and tricks. Most likely you do, but if you don't, hey, I'm here to help. It's what I'm here for. A good laugh or uh, maybe some uh, uh, awful speaking ability, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm here to help you. And today's tip, the first tip that we're going to talk about is the Iron Bank. And over here, I'm going to click on the Iron Bank, and you can see I had just started a new round. And as of right now, you have my base investment of 5% and my interest of 20%. And this is fully upgraded. So if you click on the question mark over here, you can see that the amount that I can invest is 20,000 plus a 20% interest rate. Well, you could also add on top of that interest rate uh, a bonus, which is the base of 5%. So you have the five and the 20. So I am investing 32,800 diamonds and gonna get out in seven days. Well, I've, obviously it's been a few, uh, a few hours now, but seven days, I'm going to get 41,000. Eh, it doesn't seem like too much, does it? So it's under 10,000 uh, uh, gain there. However, if you look, I'm getting 25% gain on that. If we go back, if you get a 30 day investment at 105%, so that's 30 days. Well, four times seven is 28. So you're talking 28 days. So you're talking two days less, almost 30 days. That would give 100%. So you're almost exactly the same here. So would you not rather get your diamonds first? And maybe you might lose slightly, just a little bit. But in the in the end, though, you're still there's still it's, it's 28 days compared to the 30 days. So actually, it's not perfect when it comes to the math. When it comes to that, um, and then also on top of that, if you go to your research, you can go into there and find out, I believe it is in, I'm going to take a guess, it's in formations, but I could be wrong. We're going to go look. Oh, there you go, Iron Bank Investment. So you can add another 10,000 to your Iron Bank Investment 1, and I believe there's a second one. If, if there's a 1, there's got to be a 2, right? There's always got to be a 2, and I'm telling you I'm going down the wrong road here because I want to I want to say it is in Commandership. I'm going to guess it's Commandership. So Treasury... There you go, and I would be, oh, there you go. There's the second one. So if you look at the second one, you get another 5,000. I haven't maxed this out yet because I have other priorities. I'm sure you have other priorities as well, um, unless you're, you know, high, on your high horse, riding riding along with a sword, swiping every uh, peasant that you can uh, get your, uh, your bloody sword on. So as you can see, this is 5,000 um, extra. Um, compared to the first one, which was 10,000. So this isn't really a priority. You may come along and be like, you know, it's only two days and two hours and 30 minutes for me to get an extra 150 investment in there. That'll add up over time, of course. So I would suggest doing that at some point. But uh, like I said, I don't think it's a priority. But if you do, once you get to level nine, once you do max out this, which it, your iron bank, it takes, it takes a lot of diamonds. Don't get me wrong. It is a lot. Save up your diamonds. Um, and but do it though once you once you have you know finished off all your buildings and your tier four and whatnot save it up because this will be this will be nice to get every seven days I'm getting you know just under two thousand or ten thousand diamonds um, high, like I said it's 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 definitely recommended in, in that regards now um, another tip and this is like I said this is more of a preference to me than anything if you look at my uh, my my internal buildings here my I have farms everywhere and most people would say well Aquilin, why do you have why do you have all these farms like what what do you need that that you if you look up here like okay so you have 1.5 billion grain stored but your your hourly upkeep is 12 almost 13 billion in the in the negative in the in the in the in the red 
Like you're a freaking moron. Like what are you doing? And your hourly production obviously is not offsetting that. So wh why would you do something like that? Well, I'll tell you. And it's very, very simple. So why would I put iron and stone and wood in here production, you know, for production when they're already going to be maxed out if you're, if you're, if, you know, if you're gathering them? Why not put these farms in here to reduce this? So then when you, when you, you know, when you're going for a, a, a strong research, you know, when you're, when you're at the, gosh, I don't even know if I can, if I can show the tier four, like, you know, the upgrade for the tier four, and I can't even do it. See, I go in here, can't even do it. But if you do something, you know, something really, I don't even know what I have. Um, actually, I'll tell you something that's going to be ridiculous. Like if you had a refinement and you try to get that last one, so that very last one is going to cost me 74 million almost yeah 74 and a half million grain is for this for to get that uh, unlock that batch slot that last one this is this is one of the most ridiculous things that you'll you'll eventually get to but 74 million grain so when i do click on this upgrade button it's going to ask me to add more grain clearly because i have nothing nothing in there right now if you click on that how many times if you had to click on it and then it says you don't have enough grain because it, your troops are already sucking it dry from you know from your soul um you want your you want your soul to be clean so you know what you want to do make a bunch of these and i'll upgrade these when i can as you can see they're most of them are at least six, level 16 um because at this point right now I, I have enough honor badges that i'm trying to get this castle upgraded so definitely you know do this i think this is i think this helps you out not in a really you know significant way but just in enough just a little bit and i think that's something that you need to do so um, something that you might want to think about. Now, speaking of glory level, what you want to do if you're talking about glory level is you want to upgrade this castle. You remember how important it was to get this, la this castle to 25? It was extremely important to get here. And, and the, what was the reason for that? Well, because your help limit went to 30, and because your deployment went to 5, and your defense commanders were at 5, and your army size was up to 200,000. Plus all the power you got. I mean, just the stats here are just really, really good. And some of these were already up there, but you know what I mean. This is you got you wanted to, everybody wanted to get to level 25. I believe the deployment went from four to five, if I uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the oh well, there you go, normal one. Nope, actually I was wrong. See, uh, deployment. Oh, deployment's right there. Uh, four. No, it was. See, yeah, look at that. I questioned myself and it, I was correct. So you went from four to five when you got to the level 25. So you definitely, you were, you were pushing and pushing and pushing to get to there. Well, let me tell you what, glory level is just the same. And if you look at it, you can see where I'm at at 60,000. This gives you an army size increase of 60,000. And I'm telling you 60,000 is great, but that's actually a, a mirage. It is more than that. You're going to get a, a buff of, you know, whatever your troop size is going to be, you know, your army buff. So you're going to, is it's 50% more Then that's 90,000 because you're taking 30, you're, you're, you're taking 30% or 30,000 more and adding it on there. And if you go 75%, then you're even more than that. So this 60,000 might look small, but actually in reality, it's, it's a lot bigger than you think. And then you also get the talent points on top of that, a 15, um, from when you had zero down here, um, at the very least, you're going to, you want to get the first one because you're hitting plus three and then it's plus one for a little while before you get to the 15. So the next one I'm going to get, the next buff, is, uh, is going to be an extra 15,000 troops and an extra two talent points. And you think, oh, it's, it's two talent points. Like, that's not a big deal. But if you're at the end of your talent tree, and uh, actually, I'm trying to go to my talent tree and I'm not there. Like, if you're, you know, if you're way down here and you're like, you're like, oh, well, my cav attack, it's... Uh, you know, I'm at uh, I'm at 47, and I get two more talent points. So I went from 45% to 48 and a half, 48.75%. That's a pretty that's a pretty good little buff right there. You do, and if you keep doing that castle, even more and more and more, like you saw that I where I had it to, that's 15 points. That's just that's that's really really good, and it's going to take time. It's going to take honor banner. It's going to take patience. Some of us don't have that. I don't have that for sure. I definitely don't have patience. You know what? I had someone tell me once that, you know, when I, once I got to, uh, I think it was level six, like trying to get to level seven and eight would be like, an, not impossible, but just uh, absolutely absurd. You know what? I said, you know what? Screw it. What else am I going to do? 
what, with those honor banners. You know, I could go over here to the Maester's Tower, and you could kind of check that out and see, oh, I'm going to get half a, half a percent of, of research. What, what is half a percent going to do you if you already have 300 plus research? Nothing. It's going to it's going to take you know 30 seconds off of your research. This is this. I'm not saying this is worthless because you have the fervor attack increase as well. So if you can get that to 12 12 percent, that's really good as well. But this research is 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 10 percent is nothing. You get that easily from uh, when you requested from uh, the PO. So uh, not worth it so much. Um, like I said, go for the castle. You'll get a lot of stuff in between too. You'll get you have to upgrade other other. Uh, um, if you click on your your wall, that these are all the things you have to upgrade. So you need the market blacksmith. Um, it keeps pushing that down. Rookery and embassy. You need all those things before you can get there. So and it'll take time. And don't use your speed ups on it. It's really not worth it. Use your speed ups. Save them for your research. For these, just just let them go because they're you're, they're going to be there. It's going to take you a while to gather those those honor banners. You're going to get them from the VIP shop, from you know Army of the Dead, or from uh, gosh, I don't even think can you get them from. Uh, Alliance Conquest, I believe you can, maybe a minimal amount, but so you can get them from all over the place. So just go ahead and do that as well. And um, just a little tip as well, and I'm sure I'm sure most people know this, but I, you know, I, I, I maybe they don't. I don't know if if you buy if you buy packs, you know, don't do it during the middle of the week. The only reason I would do it in the middle of the week is if you click up here and we have these, you know, they give you these bonuses, and sometimes in here you'll find a little coupon that says, you know, twenty. Uh, 200 black diamonds off or something like that then yeah absolutely um, when they do do that don't claim it very quickly at reset wait wait a half hour wait a couple hours actually before that happens because usually it's good for 24 hours so you can check the current ones and if you don't you click in here and say oh all the who, which commanders do I have do I want to buy Drake do I want to buy Enzo do I want to get 10 of those maybe you don't maybe you already have them gold but if you wait for a couple hours then reset happens that thing will still be active for another cut for another two hours then you can click back on there at the next reset check them check the commanders and you have that opportunity to buy other ones um, I think that people would get a little antsy we, of course I'm the same way I'm in my I'm antsy in my seat right now you should see me, see me jumping all over it thank God there's not a camera on me because it would be very embarrassing anyway we will move on to the dragon so this look at this big guy can I I could tickle him right there. No, I guess I can't. He doesn't move. See, I wish I. Oh, hey, whoa! I clicked the mouse. Look what happens. Easy, fella. Easy. See, calms right down. Click him. Oh, I touch him in his chest. Oh, see, he gets a little. What if the other one does this? Ah, uh, he's out, hanging out. Never mind. I can't do that. Anyway, not to uh, get away from the topic at hand. So I'm going to go to the uh, the skill raffle down here. Now, if you click up here on the so you could actually we'll start right here so these skill raffle tokens I have 662 of them and that's um, every time I draw so uh, if I draw one I get an extra one if I draw 10 I get 10 more same thing over here you get extra tokens here so if I go to the raffle shop um, something I've talked about in a previous video you want to buy these because they're only gold and you can get gold everywhere um, but what you want to do is you want to look down here where you could buy them so that you can see these these different legendary um, uh, tokens that you can buy now I'm not going to tell you which one to buy I'll tell you which ones to avoid see the bowman attack here yeah don't even do that it's not even worth it see that spearman defense yeah not going to do that either that uh, cab defense nope not not even not a chance whatsoever the resource gathering sure you can get that one you could upgrade it and then just switch it in and out whenever you're gathering Would I recommend that not unless you have a farm account it's not really worth it however you can see up here we have a legendary um, experience scroll this is the one you want to get wait to, one way to get um, if, if you don't want to buy any of the one of these ones out down, uh, down here get the legendary one it's worth 800 points and uh, I'm sorry it cost you 800 but is it is worth 1,000 experience points so when you want to upgrade one of your your uh, tokens on your dragon your skills then you get a thousand uh, experience on that now the reason I say that, and what you're, you know, you're asking, hey McQuillan, like, why why wouldn't I want to get the ca one of these these cavalry or the spearmen or the, you know why wouldn't I get one of these? They're only 200, you know, that's a that's a quarter of what I would be paying here. Well, let me tell you what right now, I'll explain that. So this cavalry right here is once you purchase it for 200, it actually gives you 240 uh, experience points. So if you if you multiply that times four 
that's not going to make up the eight, the 1,000 that you're going to get from the 800 from here. It's close. It's 900 and some. I'm not going to do the math in my head right now, which is very simple. But you're talking uh, of just a very, very uh, this is this would be very beneficial if you do it from the very beginning and you continue to do it and use those, buy those, get that thousand experience, figure out which ones you want to upgrade and go from there. Um, if you get yourself the old Blue Dragon, definitely get yourself the Blue Dragon. It's really, I kept looking at that, you know, like the Blue Dragon. And if you go to the merchant shop and shows, it's for, I, I want to say they had this initially at 100. You know, I could be mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. But I really thought this was at 100 at the very beginning This um, for this one. And um, the skills on that dragon are absolutely ridiculous. And something to remember, which I had completely forgot about, but um, but I learned or uh, was uh, reignited today with was that uh, that that a dragon avoids defense. So when a dragon attacks and you have them in your attack, whatever their defense is is, is zero because it's just it's worthless. It doesn't work because of course a dragon has so much. Look at his little thumb right here. He's got a little thumb on there. I wonder if they did it on purpose. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of just going on rants and raving or whatever, you know, kind of thing. So, but yeah, like I said, that's kind of thing. And if I had to recommend these uh, these raffle skills, uh, the ones that you want to get, I would say go with the health. Start with the health. Um, if you know, find out, figure out what you want to do as a as a, a front line of your defense. If you want spear, if you want uh, cav, or if you want infantry, grab the defense, grab, grab the health of that first here and then upgrade that to the point so you can actually take damage so then when you have that set your second line or your your third line you can deal enough uh, damage to them um, to win that battle so i would i would definitely recommend that too um, and if i hadn't already mentioned this if you go up here these advanced skill raffle tokens you can get 30 of them and each one is 500 diamonds don't do this unless you spend in a in, you know in, in a if you unless you spend more money than you know fort knox has um and they don't really have any money that have gold bars but you know what i mean if you if you would cash those gold, those gold bars in yet yeah, you're not you don't buy these this it's really not worth it because they're they're nice to have because what you're going to do is you're you're going to come out here and use them here like i have 300 of them already i have never bought one from there and i already have 300 i'm not buying infantry defense i have 54 you're wondering like why that's there that's from the free ones. Every single free one, every time I come in there, eventually I got one. So that's kind of just where I came from on that. So um, it, it really it really doesn't make any, any sense to that. So we're going to move out of there. We're going to go to the blacksmith. We're going to talk about the glorious set. So this is something that the whales have. This is something that the super whales have. So if you're a, you're a whale, you have a, the glorious set. And the reason that they have these is because their, their their bonuses and their buffs are just just stupid. And when I say stupid, I mean stupid good. And if you look at it right now, if so, this is the we're we're looking at the main hand, the sword in the main hand. If it's if it, if you're on blue, you're like oh 1.2 A's. You're like oh that's nothing. You know like my my free my free set has better than that. You know why in the heck do I need to even need that? Then you go to the gold. Holy you know, I just, I seriously just poop my pants right now because like 20% attack, 20% health, 20% defense, and 30% marching speed. That's when it's completely gold. Now, here's the thing. Let's go back to the blue. If you look down here at what it takes to get it there. So let's back, actually back up and come out of there. Let's go to, like, say, the Huntsman set. Now, if we go here, look what it says. You need three of these, you need five of these, five of these, six of these. Okay, that's that's not too bad. You can do that. Anybody can do that. You can get to that point, right? Three, five, five, six. Not bad. We look at the Gloria set. It is 10, 15, 20, and 20. And you're paying for these. These are not cheap at all. The the cheapest you can get them at Christmas time, they had, you know, in December, they had this, they had them for 50% off and it was 500 black diamonds, 500 for one pack. And you know, one pack would probably get you, it would probably unlock this. You might be, you, and I'm saying you might, you might get a, a couple of these unlocked for that. And I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Uh, I've only spoken to a few people and, uh, that do you, do you really want to get, 
a three percent cav attack a one you know and, and then like this is nothing this is these these small percentage are nothing until you get them gold or i mean like now it's 35 percent. now it's 30 i mean that's just now that's just really like stupid good as i said before but look 8 12 16 16 it's going to take you forever so my recommendation is you know, if you want uh, if you want to go for the glorious set and you want to eventually get there, which this game could go on forever, and it really could. There's so many different events that they keep putting in there, uh, putting out there, and it's it's great. I love it, and that's one of the things I love about this game is they keep adding events, they keep helping the free to play players. You know, um, the it, it, if you have money, you're, it's going to be impossible to to outdo them, which is fine. That's that, that's fine. I mean, we're you're probably in a a server that you know with what you can handle. If you can't, then I'm probably you're probably trying to get out or work your way to get as best as you can so um i would recommend that if you're going to do this you you get your discount packs on on the sunday well i say sunday my sunday which is a, it's monday so the reset whenever they reset for the week you'll get those 30 percent off coupons and it'll only be 70 or 700 black diamonds that's when you want to purchase uh purchase these more expensive sets and so that's just and thing is and, and it gives even more and more so these are the five that you're looking at now and then if you look at the jewelry you got another three jewelry so you get eight different slots because there's eight slots on your equipment that you can use um, I would recommend getting these first before get the jewelry first because they have they're actually better upgrades than what you can put in your your current jewelry as a free-to-play player but um, the upgrade isn't significant until you at least get to blue, at least to blue at that point. And, but, but the money you're going to spend to get there, um, you, you almost want to think that, you know, Hey, I made it to blue. I have to eventually try to, you know, eventually max it out at some point because it's real, like I said, it's really, really good when it comes to that kind of thing. So, um, and speaking of buffs, let's go into the refinement. Where the heck is that thing? Oh, there it is. So in the refinement, and you can see, I like I, I don't even care. Like when people, oh well, what does Baquillan have, or what does he do? Like you know, your yours is going to be different than mine. I have health, I have you know infantry health, spear attack, I have enemy army attack reduction. I have you know, I, I change it up. I'm 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 always rolling stones and and using. There's the one thing: use these stones. Don't leave them there. You know, especially the green ones, because the green ones are permanent buffs. I'm see, I'm I have I have a this little red dot. Yep, guess what? Boom, I'm going to use it. Because you're gonna, you, you might as well. Like, why leave the buff there? Why? There's no reason to do that. Some people like to leave. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 150 or 200 of these, these, uh, you know, these wash stones in here, and then I'm gonna click them all at the same time. Well, if you get 10 of them and click them all, you know, click, 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 and go through there, bam, you might get what you want. So, you know, that's just kind of the way it is. But uh, get what you want. There, you know, there are, there are a lot of different stats out here, a lot of different attributes. Like that, you know, you can pick what you want. We've talked about this before. Pick the attack stat that you want. You know, total attack is probably the best one. Um, and I say probably when I mean definitely the best one that you want to get. So, you know, and I have enemy attack reduction. I, I don't have it checked right now. I, I got it, so I just kind of kept it. But you know, there there are different reasons for different things. So you know, you pick 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 the one that works for you, and I think that's kind of the best when it comes to that. So um, just kind of figure it out. But I, like I said, the the total attack is is the best one that you want. Uh, moving on from there. So when when you're attacking, um, so as actually that's, I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the Lord. So this is my Lord. I have her uh, Jean right now as my Lord, and. I switch between two lords for the most part, and I think you should as well. Um, so when I'm attacking rebel leaders, she is my lord because she is in every single formation that you want you have there. And the reason she's in there is because she heals and she also buffs. So she'll heal that front that that tank that you have, or maybe she will be the tank, and she'll also give a more uh, attack to each uh, commander that's in there as well. So she's going to be in there all the time. And as you can see, I have my Mountain Clan set on, which is my against those rebel leaders. So definitely do that. Um, now, when I want to change my Lord before I want to go to attack, there are several different ones you want. Now, if you are a free-to-play player, your best bet... Um, where did she go? She's down here somewhere. You know who I'm going to is Arya. Arya is the one you want because she has that total attack of 15%. So regardless of the formation that you use, the troops are using she's going to buff them no matter what so i would highly recommend her now if you are like a medium spender and you're very you know you're just a little bit you want to spend a little bit but not a whole lot because you know you just you like characters or something like that so you know i'm gonna go back up here and he's not going to be there is he nope see he's not there anyway let's just scroll back down 
He's probably sitting at the bottom eating a sandwich or something. Oh, there he is. So Seg would be the other one because you can get him for one black diamond a day or one metal for him, and then you can eventually get him to gold. Once you get him to gold, he gives he gives a 15% total attack plus the 15%. So he's a little bit better than Arya would be. Now, he would be... Ari would be better if you had an infantry front line because she gives 30% uh, infantry defense as well. So you really have to decide um, which, which one that you want. Um, Julian is the one that I use because I have him gold. So he is my attack one, and most people use that as well. And the reason for that is because he has the 30% uh, attack for infantry, spear, and um, cavalry all at once. So he's really good for that. Now... If you're even more advanced than that and you've awakened Seg and you've taken him to the next level, once you get him to those three stars, and I will show you why that is. There he is. If you awaken Seg, and clearly I have not, I've awakened him, but I'm going, oh, look at that. I can upgrade him. Yes, look at that. I love it. I love surprises like that. Doesn't everybody love surprises? Don't we all love surprises? Now I need 278 more. Great. So I need 270 more, but. That'll give me an extra um, uh, friendship star, which is actually really good itself too, especially for Seg. But anyway, so I would recommend getting. I would recommend. Well, I would say use him as your lord once you get him up to this enhanced specialization, because if you do that, it gives an extra 20% for his passive skills. And if you look at his passive skills, whoops, see I'm all over the place. That is talking his total defense. That's going to be 35% defense, total defense, and 35% total attack. That is that is insane if you're doing 35% plus defense in there. So I did not see this coming. I actually thought that it was going to be 20% of the 15%, which was a, a clearly a lot less because you know like you know like 10% of 10% uh, of the 15% is 1.5. So I was like, oh okay, so I'm going to get an extra like 3% here, which is all right. So 18% total, that's not bad. No 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 no. We're talking 20% plus to 15%. So that's more than double of what it already is. And I think this is a great idea what the devs did here, finally. And um, yes, he's going to be your, he's going to be your lord when you're fighting. You're going to have him as your lord because he's just he'll be so real, he's so massively tough. And for whatever reason, if you do have one of the more expensive commanders unlocked and to gold like Jon Snow, he's awakened now too. Get Jon Snow as far as you can i know he's going to be he's going to be tough to do that because you got to pay for those those epic uh, uh epic tokens you know it comes in here and they want the uh actually the i'm sorry they're legendary um uh general tokens those are the one those are the ones you're going to have to get so you need to get 40 of those to unlock them but when he gets to here you're talking about another again 20 percent buff on him and if you look at his he has i don't have him up there of course but he says it's 25 percent. so now you're talking 45 percent across the board on everything he has um, so make sure you get those because I mean I know it's I know it's expensive not expensive but it's gonna be difficult because you have to get those um, those legendary general tokens and they're not you know they're not gonna be cheap to get but just something to think about uh, to consider in the future as well um, if you're if you're gonna be doing that too um, okay so to kind of back up and put it in perspective for more of a uh, I guess I guess lower lower tier lower level player someone who's uh, still coming up you can see i'm at level 60 for my lord right now um i would recommend um so if you're not at level 60 if you're still get you're still you know trying to get up to there so when you finish a building um, or research you're going to go over here and see these here where they give you a certain amount of lord experience points now i would suggest not using them right away so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna finish a building you come over here and it's gonna tell you you know this one you can see is is 18,649 experience points I would save those up save them all up save 10 20 whatever you want 30 of them up and then go in your inventory and I believe it is actually I'm not sure where it is I want to say maybe it's speed ups I thought it was actually a special um, Maybe I don't even, actually I probably don't have them. Let me go into here because a diamond shop will have it no matter what. It is the um, experience buff. 
There it is, right there. Lord Experience Buff. I see I have five of them because I you don't need to use them anymore. But they give you an extra 25%. And you think 25%, that's not really that much. But if you have, you know, like a million or something like that, now we're talking, you know, a 25% buff is, is more significant than what you thought when it was maybe a thousand. And once you do that, you, and, you know, make sure you, act, you, know, you click on that buff, enhance it, and sure enough, you use all of those things, all those uh, researches and, and buildings that you had, and you'll get to you'll get to level 60 so much faster. And do it and do it often, you know. Do I don't say do it often, but do it when you can. You know, use save up for 10 or 15 or 20 of those researches, enact that, you know, and, and, and engage that 20% uh, experience, and then use it. And then go out there and hit those rebel leaders too, because we'll give you experience as well. Um, that's also a, a thing definitely worth uh, looking for when you're in those early or mid kind of middle stages, I guess. Um, another thing is the wall defense. Wall defense is worthless. Um, it really sucks. As you can see, I got attacked during KVK and I'm still building things up. You can see my wall is at 130 of 938. It fell almost instantaneously when uh, everything happened. So you can see it's right here. It tells me I have five days and 16 hours. Don't worry about this. Make sure your commanders on the wall are better. That's what you want. You want to mix everything. So you want, you know, mine's not perfect right now because I wouldn't have Gene up here. When I change my my uh, Lord Commander, it would be Julian to give the buffs for everyone because you want him up there. But, you know, get a mix of everything up here. Make sure your front line's solid so that, you know, you're good with uh, defending as well if you're going to get attacked. But like up here, just it's not worth it's not worth upgrading to. Don't go into the Maester's Tower and start upgrading it. You're not you're going to be very disappointed if you go into, um, you know, your advanced defense. Actually, city defense and advanced defense, like these two, just leave them alone. They're they're really not worth it. They added, you know, this iron defense here, and so my I can get even more if I want to. Um, and I haven't gotten into that yet. I'm I'm still very far. I've way more things that I want, like a weakened assault. You know, siege attack reduction. Sure. You know, that's that's not bad. 20% of that. Yeah. Like okay. So now this is getting a little bit better. Engineering, fortification, construction, uh, right. Don't even care the capacity, fortification capacity. Don't care like that. Just you know, now we're talking bow upgrade. Okay, so the bow helps. Sure, it helps the defense. You know, enhanced defense, max defense troops, so you can get more troops, and they give you up to what? What three million more troops? Okay, so that can help you as well because if you're maxed out on 12 million, get 15 million. Great, thanks. But we aren't there yet. A lot of us aren't there, especially on this server. So I would, I would, I would not look towards that at all. So um, that's it for the day. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know. Um, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, but guess what? I do know a little bit, and I do can help. I can if if I don't know the answer, I can find the answer. And if I can't find the answer, well, then why in the hell am I playing this game in the first place? So anyway, till next time, Mac out.